Here we go. Uh, homemade hydraulic press. What we have here basically. That's the switch. So we have a three phases, uh, which is a 380 volts engine. Um, what was that? That was uh, like uh, 5.3 um, kilowatts on that one. So then we have a. Uh, we have here, as you can see, probably there is some information in around that one stuff. Um, yeah, that that is like a regulator which one regulates the flow with the it's basically one section from the tractor here we have a lever just up and down um, these two pipes goes right to the cylinder which was inside of this construction um, then we had a oil tank which one got the filter inside and there we can see the level of the oil how much we have inside hydraulic oil in this side uh, we had a hydraulic pump as you can see, if I'm gonna be able to show you, here you go, you can see the numbers. So, yeah, it's got a, from the steering system of a, a MTZ or Belarus tractor. So, and then we have a cover, and under the cover is nothing special, just connected shaft to the, um, yeah, we have a connected shaft, as you can see down there. To, dr to, to drive from the motor to the pump so and in this side we have a pressure gauge which one shows how big pressure we have at the moment what we're doing now <coughs> is uh, pressing the bearing inside the housing as you can see we are almost right to the end it's a little bit left and we're gonna be there uh, so we have the nice uh, yeah, joist all around to make it nice and smooth. So we're getting in, and uh, yeah, you can press everything in and out with a pretty easy stuff. Another thing, what we have on the top is uh, two bearings in this side and two another side, so we can slide all the stuff one way or another way. Then we have uh, these little pins, which ones we can move and out and lift it up and down, and that's that's how it actually looks like. So. Let's go. I'm gonna use the lever to put the pressure on. So let's see. goes pretty fast lovely so let's see what we did do we done I've been using the old hub to make sure not smack the that is a for ABS signal is a magnetic ring and so ABS sensor sitting here and read the uh, information from the ring from the magnetic field of a ring so that's how it's done pretty easy pretty simple and everything turns nice lovely job so thanks for watching and uh, hope you will make your own hydraulic press